What is it? We found it. Uh, it's in the Income Tax Assessment Act 1997, which is a Commonwealth Act, section 960 and decimal 5.05. If you want to know how much reading I do, that's right near the end. So we, it defines what this is. And if you have a look at it, it is uh, a number of islands around Australia, so the Christmas Islands, the Cocos Islands, and Heard Island, a few other islands, but it's also the water. Uh, there's a map that uh, the government produces to tell you exactly what this is, and it's not the land because it says that Australia includes the continental shelf, the water above the continental shelf, the air above the continental shelf, and some of the, land, the water in, around these islands. And this is exactly where we're saying that this is maritime law. This is coming in from the ocean. Australia doesn't start till 200 metres offshore and it goes out for about 200 kilometres, guys. That's Australia. That's, a, that's the legal definition under that act of what it is. And the government has produced a map to show you. And you can see that obviously now. So what does it mean if you're an Australian? If you have a look under the Commonwealth Citizenship Act, sorry, I can't remember the year, it, uh, section 4 I think it is 2007 2007 Act, yeah, I think that sounds right yeah. Yep, so 2007 Act, section 4 and it also refers to some other sections on what an Australian is so if you're an Australian that means you were either born in Australia or you have one parent who was born in Australia or you have failed to renounce your citizenship of Australia. Now you can probably see why you need a ship given that um, Australia is full of water. <laughs> you need to be able to float. Nationals don't float apparently so they've got to give you a citizenship to get around in. So with um, being an Australian, so unless your parents were born in the ocean 200 metres offshore or more, or you were born in the ocean 200 metres offshore or more, then you are not an Australian you have simply volunteered to become an Australian yourself by applying for the Australian birth certificate which gives you the citizenship. Now there's something called being shanghai It's actually a legal term and it's being put into the Navy. So basically what they do is they get you drunk and then they put you on a ship, they sail outside the territorial waters of the country you were shanghai in and then you have to work on the ship because you are under the jurisdiction of the master. So when you're a baby and your parents sign you up, to Australia, so you're no longer in the Commonwealth of Australia, the constitutional one, you are uh, shanghai as a baby, kind of, because they also leave the option of you to become a Christian name and the beneficiary which leaves you on the land. So I guess the, pro <laughs> the crazy process that we go through is that when we are shanghai, we're taken out to sea, we're put into this company that surrounds the land of the Commonwealth of Australia, this, this water world, and then we are given a, a license, which is a birth certificate for our citizenship, so we can come back onto the land of the Commonwealth of Australia and be licensed to be here. But if we do anything wrong, we get locked up straight away. Because that's, that's the contractual obligations, and that's under military law. Any soldier coming onto land, any Navy, they have to be licensed to be here and they have to work under the Rome Statute and that also goes back to the Nuremberg Trials and all that as well. Is that a, that's Corpus Juris, isn't it? Corpus Juris, yeah, of the water. So this yes. is, you can start to see your, your, your citizenship in the maritime law. So we're all maritime contractors. Um, so when you give the birth certificate back, one of the other definitions in the Citizenship Act of an Australian was someone who has not given up their citizenship. And to give it up, you have to go back to another nation and that nation has to accept you. Unfortunately, the Commonwealth of Australia is empty, so there's no one in it to accept you. If we start in a size, we could take everybody back. And this is why the old Parliament House is vacant, because they're waiting for people to turn up and re restart the Commonwealth. This, this is the administrator coming in from the water, using contract law, using trust law. It's, um, it's, from, a private, it's from a private foreign company, but isn't it? Absolutely, this is the US Federal Reserve. It does not um, derive from any part of Australia. No, no, this has nothing of, to do with us. This the, is of the real Commonwealth of Australia. No, the Commonwealth of Australia has nothing to do with this. They're yes. completely separate companies. Yeah, that's right. So one of the interesting things was an Australian resident, which is something else, is actually described in the International Civil Aviation Organisation Treaty we have with the UN. An Australian resident is someone who ordinarily lives in Australia. So if you normally live 200 metres offshore in the water, then 
your your definition and funnily enough we do but we've got license or liberty to come back onto the land and be here as contractors for this this uh, admiralty or maritime jurisdiction corporation which is a ship and if you look at the way ships are registered this goes back to germanic um, shipping and they registered ships with all capitals uh, have a look at the name of the titanic and uh, I think Australia might be going the way of the Titanic if I'm and I kept doing these videos. <laughs> um, any questions on that one, mate? Is that... No, that's um, that's basically um, that's basically it. It's it's a bit of a shock to find out that Australia is the margin. It's the marginal. It's the well, marginal text. Yeah, marginal uh, can I take area. the camera and you describe marginal text for everybody? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think. Um, I didn't really have a shave and got ready for it, <laughs> but but I think the um, the marginal the word it's it's like a document. You see here, this is probably classical. Um, this is the document. This is the main part of the, the document, but the administration of a document is in the margin. And here you've got the page numbers, the sections, the um, name of places. And it operates in a, you'll probably find, it is too, it's an italic text. So, so it's a different text it's a to the body of the text? Yes, and over here, we've got uh, debased Latin. Yep. But, but what the margin is doing is and making bold sure... bold numbers as well. There bold numbers, and uh, no matter where you go... and, and so Everything's in, different, you're saying, in the margin to the body. It, that's right. And, and it's, it's supposed to be different, to make sure that the, the main body of the text... Uh, is alien from the margin. So what's happened in, in Australia is you've got the you've got the Australia sort of thing, uh, something like that. But it goes up a bit more like that. But around Australia, you've got this green zone that comes out around the islands. It comes down here, and I think it it actually comes out over to Lord Howe Island. Um, that's the margin. This this so area. The marginal of, text is actually a physical area around Australia, is what you're saying. Yes, what I'm saying is is on the maps. Whereas this is the real Australia. Um, or Commonwealth a of Australia. U S T R A L I A. This one here is. is the all uppercase Australia and this is the real English Australia. So That's this the, one's been vacated and this one's administrating. This is a, yes, this is the administrator, just like on on the page. You've got to remember that this is all all got to do with, there's the real Australia and there's the administration of the page, the administration of, the, of Australia. And it's just done in a, a different sort of a mapping version, but it's 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 using the same thing. So this all so uppercase text. The model text. is identical. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. This, and you'll notice that um, in all of their maritime um, court documents and um, driver licences, all this, they're using this all uppercase text on it, which is marginal text. So what you're saying, what they're doing is they're, uh, they're issuing the citizens that are actually living here out in the, the water Australia. All so they're born here, they're shanghaied out to here, out to here. and then they're licensed as pirates back to well, here. Well, when they turn 21, they should have the right to come back into here. And if they don't take if they don't, right? If they don't come back, well, then they remain as the citizens out here, as the administrator or as the defender of Australia. They and obviously, never... they're only out at sea in an equity sense, not literally yes <laughs> so in, in a legal sense yeah uh, the, the equity is here and the legal sense is all out here so once you accept these legal titles from this zone outside of australia which is in this zone here what they're saying is that you've you are living in the margin which is the administrative part yep. of the page and you know i mean if you go 200 uh, meters offshore you, if you swim out there <laughs> you can swim yeah. to australia uh, the, yes the but you won't see the line to 200 meters out you won't see it in the actual water this is the map it's like a, it's, a border between states it's that's right but on the paper this is where it all exists and 
what's worrying me about people like um, Rod Cullerton and um, uh, Stephen Spears and Wayne Glue, these as you know, as, as good as their research, m- amazing amount of research that they that they're doing, they're missing this one point: is that they're already citizens from out here, and they're asking this company to stand down. They can't. If you are a citizen and you hold the the, the identifications, it's of, asking themselves to stand down. Y- y- yes, you can't do it. And and you know th- something that uh, Wayne Glue is as fantastic as the research, and he's actually created um, or he's identified some real corruption in this area out here. There's no doubt about that. Mm-hmm. But he can't have the power to stand out. He doesn't have the jurisdiction or the authority because the authority must come from these people in here. This is the national standing. That's the citizenship. And to get to be the national standing, because it's a very biblical thing and a, and a cult system. Well, you found something on nationalism, uh, Australian national, didn't you? Do you want to explain what that was? Yes, the- well, well, that was the um, what... That's. I'll show the, the act. Non, I'll non-alien, put, non-citizen. Yes. To 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 be, to be a national, you must be a non-citizen, um, and a non-alien, which is out here. This is alien. That's a a citizen. citizen. So to be a, a, a national in here, al, you must surrender your right as yep. a citizen and come back to here. But that means that you're also a non-alien. So you're not from out here. And once you become this, when you find this standing, and this is the things that, that um, these fantastic researchers, this is the one point that they have to look at, is we cannot direct this from within here as citizens. We must stand over here. And that's why there are two birthing certificates. That's that. uh, the certificate of birth, and this one is the birth state birth certificate. And if you're an alien, you're somewhere, your certificate comes from out of... Uh, yes, well, that could come from over, over somewhere else. But the problem with this Australia, this green zone that's around, it's also down here around the Antarctic too. There's some stuff down that's going on down here. But um, what this is, this Australia here, it derives from over in the uh, D-I-S-T-R-I-C-D of... Hey. It derives from the District of Columbia. So this area is not the Australian corporation owned by this, these people here. The this nationals. Australia, the nationals. This is owned by over here, which is... Which is private, isn't it? The private, US foreign. Reserve. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, the system is right. It's, 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 the system's working right. This is the corporation that's formed by the government. But this country here, Australia, did not form this corporation. This corporation is a foreign corporation. I don't know what's happened. Maybe the Queen sold it out uh, for war um, reparation, uh, um, to pay the debts of the war to the United States. I don't know. Maybe the Queen still owns... Maybe the Queen owns the United States too. You know, that's the thing that's that's got to be... Uh, talked, yeah. or look, looked at, or there's or, uh, things that we can't find, isn't there? <laughs> there's some things that I'm, there's no doubt we'll find it in in the future. But that's that's the that's ha- what's happened here, and um, this document from their website, the, the government website, explains it. And I'll, I'll put that um, up, uh, the, the the print up from the government that explains exactly what a, a national is and what a Citizen is. C-I-T-I-Z-E-N is. We can be citizens, but if we become well, a citizen of this one... That's citizenship to float while you're out in the... Yes. <laughs> and it's amazing that this starts at 200 and goes out to this. And you can see there's the margin... The of margin of the Commonwealth of, of Australia. Australia. And it's, it's administrating the internal... Of these guys, which is us. And we are letting these... Well, we're complaining, but we're in here. And we don't have any right to complain because we have not found our way back to this. And to, to get this uh, certificate of birth is a um, takes a lot of of biblical understanding <laughs> to do yeah. it. But that's the um, that's the. Well, I mean, it's all in the name, isn't it? The Bible is two. Yes. You know, it's not the universe is one. No. Um, it's the Bible is telling you that it's two. And eat from the tree of knowledge, and you will surely die. Predator, debtor. Yeah. Defender, 
out here. Yep. And if you are a citizen, you're in the water, dead well, in the water. That was the other thing we found that um, back in the day we found, I found Defendentia, which is a defendant. And mm. that was the cargo of a ship. Now we can't relocate that due to uh, Google being censored now. So, no. <laughs> but yeah, so a defendant here is a, the defender of the cargo yeah. of the ship. So that's my little bit of understanding of what our Rod Culleton and um, Wayne Glue, um, Stephen Spears, that's one of the points that they have to understand is if yep. we want to direct this out here, we must come back in here. We have to form the assize which is probably around 25 people. Mm -hmm. And then once we form that, that's the, the high court, the highest possible court. So what do we need to form the assizes to people not to hold the citizenship or be alien to the yes, they have to to leave, Australian national? Yes, they have to leave this. And to leave this where they're all safe and protected to come back into here, yeah. that's going to be hard. I mean, you, you know, like I know three or four of us that are here yeah. to get 25 people that can survive without the So we need benefits. basically 25 Commonwealth of Australian Nationals. Yeah. <laughs> to run the Once we do that, then we can direct this here and start making this area And this is why um, Parliament House is vacant, because we yeah, don't yes. have 25. Well, well, they've got their own government. We don't even have to change the government, and we don't even have to change the um, the people in the Commonwealth so of Australia. So we can just direct the all capitals, all, all the bills. waterborne Australia to operate. Yeah, all the bills to. passed in this... Um, a uh, private company to administer Australia. They normally get passed over by foreign people that suits them to plunder Australia. But if the assize is there, then no bill can go here. The bill would have to go to the assize first. And any bill that was um, degrading Australia or hurting the Australian people, then we, the, t the 25 people, then have the, the lawful right to reject the bill from the parliament. And that's probably the best way to get control back over our lives and to stop some of the, um, the corruption that's happening out here coming from people from the District of Columbia. Columbia. And we don't know, they could be in France, the Roth Rothschild yeah. people, and um, the people from England, the, the, the Queen and, and her um, yeah. family, they, they are controlling, you know, Australia. And we, the people of Australia, who have been fooled into coming over here, we've lost control of it. And that's the way to get the control back. We only need 25 people. Yeah. And there are come, there are, uh, there are these people slowly coming forth. So it's, it is happening, but it's just the knowledge of how, and the understanding of what we're finding and how the system works that, um, that we all have to s start to get into our heads. Yep. And did you want to say anything about the Ouija board while we're here? <laughs> The Ouija board is summonsing the dead, and it uses the uh, all uppercase text here. Um, <laughs> and your driver licences, they're dead. It's a dead letter text. And so the Ouija board really <laughs> is just summonsing the dead. Yeah. And when you're in this area here, it's a corporation, and corporations are incorporated. The real, pers the real living man must die to be in here. So well, that's where the, the man can only live, basically, on a on the land, or they have to be on a ship, don't they? And if they're on a ship, they're a yes. part of the navy, and they. Um, it gets back to the soul and the soul print. The you can you can't have a soul print. That's why the Vatican takes the soul when the ch when a child is born. The the Vatican takes the, the soul print, and uh, there is no soul print in water. It cannot happen. No footprints. So that's right. But you can have a soul, the other soul, which re which means dead. So if you've got the S-O-L, S-O-U-L, which is dead, but the S-O-L-E, which is the real soul, those two things must be reunited to come back together. At the moment, they're, um, they've been uh, separated, divided. Uh, divided and conquered. So that's, the, that's the, the weird part about the occult stuff. That's the, um, the people that we got, that we used to get laughed at. Yeah. <laughs> we're bringing that stuff, the, uh, the occult stuff up. But it is, it's, it, the whole thing rests dead living yeah it's it's all dead letter text uh living text even though district of columbia but that's a real district that's why i wrote that as a fact but this is not a fact that does not read australia and if this australia is that then this in here that's australia. not australia <laughs> so that's not australia that might read um australia if you can even read that writing S, T, 
A R I L I I. Whatever, guys. That's um, proper English. That's a fact of Australia. Yep. This is the uh, what do they call it? the token? That's the the, 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 the to, to enter into the game. The we that's the sign. The Ouija board. You've got to give a sign. Well, that's the sign that you've entered into the dead. This is uh, probably the sign that we're still alive. Yeah. But that's uh, proper English. And it, the grammatical rules of English do not apply to this text. So we could apply this to Glossa Viperina SK Corroded yep. by Sarah Textus, which is a poisonous gloss that corrupts the essence of the text. And there's that's the poisonous corruption. gloss. It's the one you can't read. It's pretty simple. And, and uh, a maxim, guys, that one. And that maxim, because we haven't understood it, is putting the control of Australia, which is the margin of Australia, around Australia, surround a bit like the US flag and the Australian flag with the gold fringe, which is maritime capture. Mm -hmm. So this has been captured. But this area here, because we haven't understood this, we've assumed that this is Australia when it is far on from a different district. So mm -hmm. there's, um, that's what's happened. That's what's gone wrong. Uh, into Australia, and, and that's a bit of a bother for us, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yep, it certainly is, Mark. We'll leave that one there. Yeah.